respected uh, guests. Many thanks for giving me the opportunity to attend an address to have our International Wuda Culture Symposium, which is something I didn't expect uh, because I'm related to the literature and uh, the tea culture. Recently, recently, I transferred to the study of a bio uh, industry, and, and as a novelist, as a writer, I am privileged to be talking about the wood culture. Among my literature, there is a one. There is one particular piece which is called "There is a good or excellent wood in the south of China." This is one of my uh, literatures. Here, the title of a person is "Wood Era of uh, Human Human People's Evolution from Ape to Human Being." To during this process, whether we have uh, a wood culture before even before the uh, uh, stone culture. The expression is a uh, gully lives in the forest. It comes from 1959. Prostena, who is a famous, uh, renowned USSR writer, this is the quotation from him. In this, in his literature, he believed that uh, God lives in the forest. So that I just quote uh, his wording here as part of my uh, topic. The uh, proposition. Whether we have the wood era, we have recognized the uh, evolutionary process, namely the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and the uh, Iron Age. Whether before the Three Ages, we have the Wood Age, because Wood Age is uh, something indispensable in the evolution of long history. I believe this is a uh, people and in particular the experts are split on this issue. That is whether we have the Wood era before the stone, bronze, and uh, iron era. So for the uh, history of the evolution of a human being, first, uh, stone age. For stone age, according to archaeological definition, it is uh, two to three million years old, from two to three million years old to 4,000 four, and 6,000 years old. That's the era and the period for stone age. Uh, this, we have the new, uh, the old, the uh, Paleolithic and the Neolithic periods. For the old Stone Age, this is the Paleolith, that is almost uh, 2.5 million um, to almost 10 million. This is the old age. This is the new age. This is the Neolithic period. This is uh, the last period for Stone Age. For this era, we have the tokens uh, for milled stone. Gadgets and uh, for this medium period, this is uh, the symbol of the material culture development for human being. It is the latter part of the Stone Age. It was dating back to 18,000 years old to five to two thousand years old. So that's the Neolithic period. Both belong to the Stone Age for Zhejiang Province. We have the Hemdu culture and the Liangzhu culture, a civilization, the Kuaoqiao civilization, they belong to this new Lithic period. For Bronze period, Bronze period are for Greece and for Egypt, they can be dating back to 3000 BC. For China, it's 18, 1800 years BC. So for different regions, they have the different uh, beginning and ending period. Actually, what is bronze? Bronze is the alloy between grass and tin. That's the bronze age. We have a lot of unearthed uh, relics and uh, articles. This is one unearthed from China. Oh, the most representative is the Sumu Wu tripod. The Sumu tripod is the symbol, the token of the power of the state. So that's the Bronze Age. For Iron Stage, it was dating back to 1400 years old, while people started forging metals, including the iron, which promotes development of social productivity. So whether we, talk, we cover the three different ages, whether there's possibility and the probability for the existence of an age of a wood. So from the, I will approach it from five perspectives. Number one is the origin of human being. 
where the, there is a kind of a symposis. Number two is uh, from the proof of the environment for the early age of the human being. Number three is the unearthed uh, articles of the human inhabitants. Number four is uh, the relations between shelter, food, transportation, and wood. The last but least, this is from the memory hierarchy. Uh, perspective. So those are the five perspectives for me. First, from the origin of human being, the human being uh, relied on the wood in the very beginning. As the historical materialist, we are convinced that uh, the human being's evolution comes from ape to human. From the very beginning, from this Darwinism, for human being in the very beginning, they came, they evolved from the forest uh, ape. What is a forest ape? By definition, forest, which uh, means a forest, the wood, for the origin, from the folk, um, and uh, from lyrics and uh, from stories. People have different versions for the origin of human being. For instance, for China, we have the famous uh, book. Among the big four, this uh, the pilgrim. Pilgrim to the to the west, always translated as a monkey king. So from that one, we know that the monkey and the apes comes out of the wood, comes of the rock. However, if according to Chinese tradition, when you come out from the rock or the stone, that's the impression. That's the uh, colloquial Chinese expression. That is where you're from. Are you from nowhere? That means are you from the rock and the stone? So for sea, or you are from the sea, or you are from the stone. However, in Asia, there is a different uh, scenarios. That is, uh, we may be taken back to trees. We may come back from the fruit of the trees. For instance, in Japan, there's a kid coming out from the bamboo. Bamboo. That's the folk uh, legend from uh, Japan. And uh, you know, Thailand, uh, cartoon, they come from the peach, the, from the peach. The hero comes from the peach. That's the origin of the kid. So for, for the origin of human being, we, there's a consensus that is we come from the forest. There is a consensus there. Where exactly from the forest, we call it the forest ape. So we come from the wood. So they're from the origin of human being. We see the correlation between human being and the wood. You can see during the revolution, this is the configuration of the ape. For the, uh, for the uh, forest uh, ape, we call it a uh, That's the term for it. For the chimpanzees and uh, for for others, we have the similar ancestors. For this kind of uh, chimpanzee, it's come from Asia, Europe, and uh, Africa. For different uh, hierarchies of the Earth, we can find the relics, which can be dating back to maybe 20 million to 5 million years old. Number two is the, the, the use of wood tools. So there is a dividing that divide between the human and the animal. That is the use of tool, which is a consensus of the historians. So whether we have the period of the wood tools before or concurrently together with the, the stone tools for the 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 dream of mansions, the red mansions. Another Chinese famous uh, the lyric. You can see Jia Bao Yu the the star comes from the wood. So during that period, there's a legendary uh, tales talking about uh, the origin of Jia Bao Yu, which is uh, the hero of uh, the um, literature. So there's a question we can be talking about. For me personally, I believe that our ancestors come from the wood. So they first they choose wood as a tool, which is followed by the stone tools. I believe this is divided between human beings and animals. Through the evolution and progression of our human being, people call it st uh, Stone Age or Lithic Age. Why? Because uh, for the preservation, 
it's a, a short-lived compared to the stone. In China, we have famous uh, a legend, folk legend, that is Lan Ke Shan, this which happened in Zhejiang province. According to the legend, there is a farmer uh, lumbering in the forest, uh, and he found uh, the two are uh, uh, deities playing chess. And after seeing the chess of the two deities, the he, the ex, his ex, his ex is there, but the wood handle uh, eroded. So that's a famous legend. So you can see, for the tools, the time elapsed, uh, and the wool uh, will not uh, preserve during the time elapse, but uh, the metals and the stone, the stone can still stay there. But from this, from archaeological perspective, for the unearthed articles, we didn't find any wood ones. We don't see it, it doesn't mean that uh, they were not existent in the past. For the proof of unearthed articles, we should have the era, the age of wood assembly between six, three million to half a million years old back, there are certain experts believe that uh, we have this uh, wood age. <coughs> so in Europe, they have the similar period. Sorry, I don't have the picture because I just flew back from the States. I, uh, I cannot get uh, my email and I can now show you the pictures and the graphs to you. Sorry for that, because I cannot find the internet in the hotel. So, and for in Europe, in the uh, old in the Paleolithic period, they found the, the wood pins and the wood sword, spare head with the U. So the, in Europe, they have this proof. They unearthed the articles. So they uh, use the fire to make the form of the wood as the handle uh, for these uh, stone uh, weapons, stone tools. In Africa, they have certain earth articles as well, certain uh, uh, rod, certain wooden rod used as tools. And uh, the Chinese uh, experts, Mr. Jia Lampo, who is a renowned expert historian, he believed that uh, for Zhuko Dian in Beijing, they unearthed the articles. The most convincing tools are the wooden rod and the torch. According to expert Mr. Jia, the most influential and powerful tools are these two, wood rod and the torch. So from the unearthed uh, article, you can see from the evolution from ape, the, the forest s support provide the shelter to human being because uh, they ha your kind of Chinese legend, we have to drill the wood in order to get fire and others. So it's such a relation between fire and wood and shelter the housing under the wood and also the tools under the wood. So you can see for the shelter, for the food, for the um, transportation, and for tools, there's correlation between human being and the forest. Still, according to certain proof of the unearthed articles, you can still see certain traces, the relics of the wood, which is uh, closely related to our ancestors because they have two jobs to do, fishing and hunting. For fishing and hunting, neither can be uh, got without uh, the wood. For fishing, you need a canoe and a boat. Both should be made of wood. From the different uh, uh, living uh, conditions of the ancestors of the world can find the following proof. This is uh, the canoe of Kwahu Chao, Kwahu Bridge. This canoe, Kwahu Chao, Kwahu Bridge, dates back to 8,000 years old, just close to this area, to where we are. This is canoe to that period. You can see the schematic uh, view of the canoe back then. I have interest 
you can pay visit on site because it's close by. You have the Kwa Hu Chao Museum. For Kwa Hu Chao canoe, it's made of wood. So from the earth, the articles, we found the proof that our ancestors, their tools are made of wood. And then for Hum Du, uh, the peddlers. So in Zhejiang province, we, in Niubo, uh, for Zhejiang province, we call it uh, the Yuyao area. You can find uh, 7,000 years old from now. We, we see different, uh, different uh, houses, different uh, articles. You can see the boats and the canoes. So the accounts from the Homudu area and uh, on the Quan Zhe house have very good uh, drawings for two purposes. First, uh, because you have uh, those uh, drawings and then it cannot be easily wall and we can have uh, this uh, building. So 7,000 years from now in Humud area. And now let's look at uh, the bow and uh, arrows. Uh, we will do hunting with the uh, help of the bows and arrows. For the bow and uh, arrow, uh, they, you can also find the traces of wood. For the arrow heart, we also have uh, uh, the material from the bronze and the iron, or some they can use the wooden arrow heart. And for this uh, uh, pool, it will use bamboo or wood. So no matter in China or elsewhere, if we talk about the Indian, in the Indians or the Maya civilization, uh, this is very important a weapon and also very good uh, um, farming tool. And then let's talk about the axe and the wooden handle. And we'll talk about the stone axe, for example, in Zhejiang area. In Ning'an area, we have a very good uh, cultural tradition. We will uh, give them a specific uh, um, symbol. We call Zhejiang Yue or Wu Yue. For this uh, character, Yue, this character, in line with uh, the uh, expert uh, historians uh, in Zhejiang, Yue. We also have this uh, uh, on the right uh, hand. It's also uh, Yue. It refers to an axe. Uh, urine it also another uh, part that is a stone. That is, it refers to a group of people with a stone axe running uh, in the land and exploring our life. However, we can also know that. So the uh, stone scrubbing without uh, the uh, wooden handle cannot be called and named the axe. So it has this axe and also the wooden handle. Sometimes it will use iron and uh, bronze, but without uh, the uh, iron and the bronze, you cannot use stone for the handle. So they will use the uh, wood to make the handles. No matter for the iron axe or stone axe, they cannot uh, form axe without the wooden hand. And I paid a bit to Harvard University, and I took a picture there. During the Maya civilization era, stone axe So um, it's not excavated, but anyway, um, they were achieved from those Maya tribes later on. So no matter in Europe or Asia or Africa, we can find the axes with the wooden handles. 
just now we talk about the uh, fishing and the hunting tools and then how about the accommodation for the mankind in the Chinese culture we will usually make some metaphors for example we have uh, Shen Long Shi. Uh, the inventor of the uh, pharmaceutical and for the Yu Chao Shi. Yu Chao, this, the two characters who invented uh, the um, mankind, or oh, it might represent some phenomenon. For this Yu Chao Shi, there were people who made uh, the houses. You know the um, concept of this uh, chow, and uh, we have this uh, wood section in it to form this uh, character. So people originally lived uh, in the trees. We also have the Banpo civilization in Shanxi. This uh, kind of uh, uh, structure the the roofs were also made of wood so we can trace uh, those kind of uh, phenomena and uh, even if uh, in the latest era we also have uh, some people who would like to live in a tree in the uh, 10th century during the Tang dynasty we have a Buddha master who used to live uh, in the very big tree near the current uh, Shangri-La Hotel in Hangzhou. He lived in that tree for 40 years. He was a very famous Buddha, uh, Buddhism master. We call them this uh, Niao Chao master. So the house in the tree should be quite good. And we have a very good uh, famous poetist, Bai Juyi, who once uh, talked uh, with this master, I asked, isn't it dangerous for you to live in a tree? And uh, this master answered, at that time, Bai was uh, the city mayor. And uh, ma the master answered that, isn't it dangerous for you to be an official? So this is a very famous uh, episode. And a couple of years ago, some masters who researched on the dreams, they said that, why would you have the dream? Because uh, when we are seeing, and uh, some, uh, the, in the very beginning, we had the dream in the tree. For example, uh, they were uh, afraid that uh, they might fall down from the tree and eaten by the animals. So subconsciously, they would have this kind of reminding and then this kind of uh, subconscious reminding will uh, come into our thinking and then we'll have the dream. So this kind of uh, concept uh, has its uh, reason. Sometimes we have some thinking uh, in the day and then we will have similar dreams uh, during night. And maybe you have such kind of experience. If we want to catch a train, catch a plan the next day and then during the previous night, uh, we could not uh, have a good uh, sleep. Last night, I woke up for seven times uh, since uh, I'm thinking about uh, today's presentation. So I woke up for seven times uh, during the night. So it has something to do with the relationship between dream and uh, these uh, houses in the tree. Sorry, uh, you have one more minute. One more minute. So now let's look at uh, this kind of uh, architecture in Hemudu area. And uh, so I will speak uh, some of the uh, slides. So we have uh, those five animals and our relationship between uh, human mind and uh, wood. In the Warden Lake, I took this uh, picture. Mm, the relationship between mankind and uh, wood. Uh, in the New York Museum. So 
we have the conclusion that the god lives in the forest. So uh, it seems uh, that uh, uh, we are learning also from the forest. That's my presentation. Thank you. And I hope there's a swimming there from the Walton Lake.